What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Sir Quarkid Degrade bringing you week one of season two of the Insane Clown Posse, also known as the Insane, uh, the International Competitive Pokemon League, also known as the ICP for short. Uh, we are branching off into season two, and today we are facing on none other than Team Knox TV and his Forest Curse. Trevenant, I think. I think he just be the first Forest Curses. Um, oh, pff. I'm 151. If you guys have yet to see the draft analysis, make sure to go check that out. A link to it can be found in the description below, as well as the card that just popped up right here. So, make sure to go check that out. I actually haven't yet to record it. Breaking the fourth luck. I haven't recorded it yet, but I'm planning to do something a little bit different. So, hopefully I did do that. And make sure to go check it out. It's a bit of a different uh, content creation or draft analysis than what I've usually done. And uh, But, it's not the first of it. I, I took it from uh, Mr. White himself, who is a fantastic content creator as well. Anyways, all teams, all coaches in the league can, can channels can be found in the description below. It is five o'clock in the morning. I actually haven't slept yet. Uh, my sleep schedule has been really horrendous before the new semester, so I am just trying to, to survive, y'all. Uh, let's see. Have fun. Break a leg. Okay, so we okay. Let's see what they bring. So they brought Quag. They brought uh, Lycan Rock. They brought uh, Aegis Lash. They brought Hydreigon. They brought Talonflame. And they brought Celebi. Okay. Okay, so this is actually a really good, like, thing for us. He, he didn't bring his Hail Core. He only brought one Water Absorbmon in the Quagsire. So, Draco is just actually going to have a heyday t uh, today. I do think they lead off with their Talonflame. Because uh, we do kind of have a hard time dealing with it. Um, I think it kind of wants to lead off with, uh, with Sir uh, Kaiju here. I was actually, uh, you know, I do like an easy bake lead still. Uh, truth be told, if he does get up with a Quagsire, which I doubt, uh, then we can just go hard into our Bam Bam B Dwecky, and uh, yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, Lycan Rock is very very scary. I am Mo, but I think we do have the prep for it this week. We do have the Chopper Berry on the. Uh, the thing you can see it on the screen on, on the Cobalion just to ensure that this close combat wants to come my way. I thought about bringing like a weakness policy, uh, Tyranitar, which I thought would would, would be really really cool. But then uh, Asura kind of just like revenge it revenges it anyway, so I don't think it was gonna work. So let's see. Uh, he did mention by the way that he does model his character after his first round pick, it being uh, Age of Slash. So I thought that was really really cool. Uh, teammates revealed that uh, in, in in the in the server. So yeah. It's been a fat minute since I last played uh, BDSP. I will be honest, and he's gonna lead off with the um, with the talent flame here. Uh, truth be told, he could U-turn here. I just want to get off a of toxic, um, right? I did bring toxic. Perfect. Uh, Cause I think this is like, gonna be the best thing for us. Cause I think he goes hard into his Quagsire, and if we get toxic that thing, I think that'd be amazing. Tbh. Truth be told, anything that can come in and we can toxic it, I think that'd be the best case scenario. Um, so. He could get up a Tailwind, which could be very, very scary. Uh, we are bluffing that we are Sandrush. He could just, just go for U-Turn, which is perfectly fine with me. If we do see the Quagsire coming in, I would be more than happy to see that. Um, so let's see. Let's see Let's see what he goes into. Um, uh, obviously, he goes into Obulus, which is going to be this Hydreigon. I'm actually okay toxicing this thing. We do land the Toxic, perfect. Uh, so we do see U-Turn on the Talonflame. Uh, so this thing is going to be like slowly chipped down. Um, I kind of want to go for the slow uh, volt switch or the slow momentum to see what he wants to go for. He could U-turn himself here. I, I do see this thing being scarfed, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, and I imagine we do live a, uh, a Draco Meteor. Uh, so we actually do outpace this thing, which is very, very good to know. Um, he could go for a U-turn, which would be fine. Um... I really want to go into, uh, actually, I think going to Surfiero here is actually the best case scenario. Because if you just go for, like, the superpower, then we do chew it because of the, um, uh, of the Chapel Bear. As he just go for the U-turn, again, fine by me. Uh, so really good play on his end. Um, so we do see the U-turn. He is not Scarfed. Uh, so not Scarfed. He's probably, like, a lefties if I had to guess. Uh, Talonflame is definitely boots. It has to be boots. 
Otherwise, uh, you know, it just cannot come in twice. Um, if you, uh, I'd imagine he goes into either Eggy or Quag, but I doubt he goes into Eggy, or I'm sorry, Quag's most likely going to be the Age of Slash that comes in right now, uh, which is actually very scary because, you know, we really can't break it. Then he goes into Siren, which is going to be this Quagsire. Uh, did I put Toxic on this set? I did. Okay, I'm going for it because I think getting Toxic in this thing is the best thing we can do for us. Um, so we're going to stay in. I think he goes for Toxic himself. Or he could just go for an EQ, either or. Um, we are max HP Cobalion, so I imagine we do chew it. As he goes for Scald. Okay, perfectly fine by me. We do take it. And we don't see the burn, which is fantastic. Um, so I'm going to pull the hard double. And um, we could just go into Sir Vish, but I don't want him to get burnt. So I'll go into Bam Bam. And uh, we could just U-turn. Because I doubt he uh, he stays in. Um, I typically don't like running Toxic on my Pokemon. But I, I, I'm i not running Toxic Protect. Which I actually we actually have Protect on a set. But it's not for that purpose. Uh, that's more for scouting. Uh, but I just Toxic is, is going to allow me to run it on my opponent's Pokemon over time. So in case I don't get Rocks up. That's really why I run Toxic. Um, I did I got to be in Toxic. And the Quag being Toxic I think is the best case scenario for us. Uh, truth be told, I know the only two moves we've, we've clicked this so far this game has been Toxic and uh, Volt Switch, so let's see, he is also Toxic. Uh, I think he was not the first time in. He scald. We are going to get up the Grassy Search, which is kind of going to hurt us a little bit because this Quag is going to recover just some health every turn, but I think that's fine. He just switches out. Okay. Perfect. He was in the Fresley, which is a sound from great, great play. Great play great play because that, that, that does force me to switch out here um i think he goes for a uh, a u-turn though so i'm actually gonna go into lando uh he actually could go for the flare blitz which would hurt a whole lot i will say it will hurt my feelings specifically um if he does go for the flare blitz or the brave bird rather any of his dual stabs uh so hopefully lando can live that hit um lando has some bulk like it's not the best bulk Talon Flame. Yeah, we should live it. Uh, it's doing Jolly. Actually, that's not Max Attack. He's a dual Wingbeak. Okay. Fine by me. Uh, so we are gonna most likely scare this thing out. Who would he go into? I don't know. He uh, because this is obviously throw telling him that he's scarfed. Um. So I'll go for the U-turn. Because we'll be able to uh, break this thing's Gale Wings, which is very, very annoying. IMO. Um, and we'll just go with the T-Tar. So he does stay in. We do reveal that we are Scarfed. Um, if you flame out, that's actually a really cool tech, to be honest. But I'll go into the T-Tar here. Because uh, it's going to whittle down this, this Talon Flame with Sand Chip. I wish I was Rocky Helmet. Dual Wing Beats really, really cool. And if I'm going to come Completely honest. He's for Willow. Um, I'm not detrimented by that. If I'm being completely honest. So we see, dual Willow. I'm not heartbroken by that because I get about rocks for freezies. Um, is this is for you turn. Okay. I do see the Aegis Slash coming in right now, which could be a problem for us. That could be an issue for us. Uh, Lando is around like a 60%, so as long as Sneak doesn't kill us, which the Cal says it doesn't. Actually, that's a modest. Let me look at Adamant real quick. Healing the head, Dragon. As we do get up the Stealth Rocks. Uh, so this chip on this thing is going to be fantastic. Um, and I'm just going to simply go and go for a war. He is lefties. Okay. Good to know. Um, we are going to get some nice uh, grass uh, recovery. Or, I'm sorry. Co recovery from the terrain. And the leftovers. So you actually we're gaining more health this turn. And he's slowly getting chipped down. I think even if he does have the superpower, I don't mind just roaring. 
to see what he does. I think more than likely he goes for the U-turn. Seeing what I go for, yeah, he does perfect. Uh, so we are going to chew that pretty, pretty well. Um, he's going to switch out, and I'm just going to roar. Uh, I'm going to see what like what I can hurt the most. Um, hopefully he does actually, High Dragon does come back out, because rocks plus uh, Sandship sand is going to be really, really nice. So let's see who he goes into. He has yet to see, he has yet to see my Dracovish set, which I think is best case scenario. Because uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, everything but Quag and Eggy outpays Dracovish. Uh, and we do have like an eject pack, so I kind of want to use that this game. He's going to go into Celebi here. Um, we're really smart because that's to take advantage of our um, aggressive terrain. But I'm going to say screw you and just roar him out. If he doesn't like the rock, I'll just stay in. Okay. Uh, that's exactly what just happened. Um. Yeah, cool. Uh, do we see any lefty recoveries? We do not. And that's fine. Um, I think Hydra is really, really important still this game. Uh, so... Because the terrain does disappear from this from the terrain, so it's fine by me. Um... Yeah. Uh, I'll go into buff bro here. That's the wrong one to rock set. Shit, okay. What, what I'm thinking about is if he goes for CC, we should definitely chew that. I'm just making sure we, we live the SL rock afterwards. That's my only concern. So, Lycan rock, Diaz. Let's see, SL rock is doing 42%, and the CC actually is okay. He'd be able to revenge us. Which could be the issue. Which could be an issue, I'm sorry, rather. Um, let's see. So let's see if he goes for, uh, which move he goes for here. He goes for CC, okay. We do live that. Let's see, we're actually at 58. Uh, so he's not life orb. That's actually perfect. So we do live the assault rock then. Um... He knows I'm scarfed. I he has to switch out here. I, I'd imagine he has to switch out. He's not life orb though, which I think is like the best news for us. He is not life orb, so we do live the assault rock. He does switch out perfect. Okay, so we do get the initiative on the momentum. He was in the Fresley, which is just gonna be this Hanon flame again. Fine by me. Um, you know he could be going for a. Um, he can be going for. He's flame body. That's cool. That's cool. It doesn't even matter because we are special. So I'm honestly okay with that. I'll go into uh, over the uh, easy big oven. I could actually go on into Dracovish that turn, uh, but I don't want him to get burned. Theoretically, um, the sunshine does subside. That's exactly why I didn't want to do that. Um, I'll, I'll go for a Volt Switch. I mean, if he goes into Quag, he goes into Quag. He's for Defog. Perfect. He's gonna get off. He's gonna get rid of these rocks. As we do go for the Volt Switch, and we actually get the first KO of the season. We're gonna knock out this Town Plane, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so let's see. So Rotom kills Town Plane. Okay. Um, I'll go into Servish. Because I do want to bait out... No, I shouldn't do that. Tevlin being gone is really, 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 really nice. Though. I'll go into Servish. I'm going to go into Servish. And I'm going to bluff. That, like... I really want him to go into Quag. I really want him to go into Quag. So, I've th what's what I'm going to aim for? I don't think he does go into Quag. But, you know, we can dream. We can dream, Harold! We can dream! Because I want to, I want to show up attack. I just want to show up attack. Uh, because it's just a jack pack. So when we go for the Draco, we should... Obulus. He's going to go on this side that I got. Um, again, I just switch out. Uh, and I will go into Sir Fierro. Um... Again, like in Rock, so we saw CC. 
no life orb. So we can't let Lando take any more hits this game. Otherwise, we will just lose to Lycanroc off the off the rift. So he does stay in. We've actually like Draco here come out. Mr. Deeples, let's go! Give give give, give me that, that sh boost. Give me that sh boost. Give me that sh boost. Yep, we see leftovers. So deep pulls. See, 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 um, yeah, I'll go for Iron Head. We're plus one. Nothing wants to take that hit. Not even a Quag with toxic damage. So I think that's what I'm going to go for. Uh, Quag Sire. He does stay in. Cool. He goes for Earth Power. Okay. That probably knocks us out if I had imagined. It does. Okay. So, I... Kills uh, Cobalion. But I'm not too upset by that. Because this thing is getting very, very chipped. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Hi, but Aeon. Is this, this, is, is, are you in Goofy range? You're on like 30%. Rocky, you're not? Okay. That's fine by me. I go into Lando. You know that I am... Um, you know that I'm Scarfed. So let's see if you, if you decide to stay in or not. Because if you say Zen, then I just go into Rotom. He should die to, I imagine, the toxic damage. He just stay in. Does I not get the kill here? I'm burnt. I don't think so. Uh, we don't get the kill. Is that better for us, actually? No, that might be better for us, if we're being completely honest. Um, I'll go into Kaiju here. It's better for us. He's a roost. Okay. A little annoying, but he is going to take some nice toxic and uh, sand damage as we just saw right now. As you can see right now, he's taking plenty of damage right now, uh, which is perfect. Uh, I imagine we let anyone hit this thing wants to go for. I'm just getting up rocks because they're very, very valuable this game at IMO. Um, Cabellian being dead is really, really annoying. But uh, I might have I might have uh, overplayed there by going for the Iron Head, but uh, I think it was the best Metal Ground play. Uh, he's for the U-turn? Okay. And we do love that hit. We do have Thwacky in the back to get... Tarantar back up to full, so I'm not too upset by that. Oh, you know what? This Lycanroc is sand. No, Lycanroc Dusk has to be... Uh, has to be what you call it. Uh, the thing Jig. It has to be a uh, tough boss. Am I okay with Titar going down? Yeah. Yeah, I am. I really am. I'll go for Roar. You could go for CC. I don't care. Knock me out. I can go on the Thwacky for free. I'm not, I'm not going to overplay this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let... Um, I'm going to let... This is CC. Perfect. Kills... Um, Pitar. I'm fine by that because I get, I get to go into Tuaki for freezies. And this puts this man in a whole world of pain. Uh, because Hydreigon's actually very, very weak. We're going to set up the grassy terrain, which is fantastic. We are... Um, um, I'll just go for grassy glide. I will just go for Grassy Glide. Not gonna overthink it. He's for Assault Rock? Okay, perfect. We are gonna do that fantastically, and we are gonna knock out this Lycan Rock, I'm assuming. Let's go!
kills. Lycan. Let's get it. Let's get it. So an end game with 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 Lando is looking fantastic. We gotta keep Ducky alive. We gotta keep a lot of components alive. Here's a little Obulus, which is this Hydreigon here. Um, I guess I go easy bake. Yeah, I will go into easy bake the oven. Actually. So actually no 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 we got we gotta make sure we keep this thing alive. I think I don't think we need Servish. I don't think we need Servish this game. Um call it a bad play if you will, if you must. But I don't think I don't think we need um Servish this game anymore. See so what he goes for. He goes for Roost, okay. Really wanted to go for uh the U-turn there. Sand does subside. Uh, and let's see if this thing has Draco Meteor or Dragon Pulse. I don't think we live it. He doesn't know what our... What, uh, I, I can scout. I can scout. I protect for that very reason. I can scout. So let's see what this thing, this thing wants to go for. Uh, if he goes into Quag, fine by me. I will protect here. If we see Draco, if we see Deep Pulse, I will hard switch. If we see uh, Dark Pulse, perfect. That's A-OK -okay with me. Uh, actually, that, 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 that chips him down just a little bit more. So, um, I'm going to go for the Draco. Show off the tech. Um, this is last move. If he goes for Dark Pulse again. Okay, cool. No flinch. Let's go. Let's go. We do connect. Does Draco Fish get another kill? Or get, gets a kill, rather? That's not a kill. That's not a kill. But you know what? That is free momentum, ladies and gentlemen. So we are going to get the hell out of there. Um, and uh, we can go We can go back into Bam Bam. So very, very happy with that play. Hydreigon should be dead after this next turn. Uh, either with toxic damage or with just simply uh, aggressive glide coming off from our Lucky. So let's see, does he die to toxic? Let's go. I don't know who, who killed the <laughs> Hydreigon, but... He had toxic. Let's freaking go. Okay. So far, looking really good for us. He goes in a hearth, which is going to be this Aegis Slash. I'm going to knock this thing off. Actually, this thing could be a, a, like autonomized like weakness policy. If it is, that's very scary. I'm going to go into Easy Bake. In case it is. So I don't want to have to, like, deal with that thing. He goes for SD. Okay. Again, that's very, very scary. Because we just give this thing free recovery. Because that, that could easily, like, just, like, revenge sweep us right now. Um, let's see. Aegis Slash. I need to catch this thing whenever it's in its, um, when it's not in its shield form. That's it. So I'm going to Volt Switch. He switches out. Perfect. He's going to decide which is going to be the Celebi. Actually, it's going to be Quag. That's even better for me. That's A-OK -okay with me. That's A-OK -okay with me. I'm going to go into... Yeah, I guess I'm going to Servish. I guess I'm going to Servish. I really don't need... I, I, I don't need Dracovich this game anymore. 
if I'm gonna be completely honest, I really don't need it. I just gotta make sure I don't lose the Aegis Slash. So Scald, that's fine by me. There's no burn. I had to say, I had, I had, I, I, I had to say it. You know, sometimes it, it just, I, I'm a masochist. That's really what it is at the end of the day. I'm a huge masochist. Uh, I'll go for Super Fang. I'll go for Super Fang. Shots attack. If he goes into Eggy here, that's really bad for us. Um, if he goes Celebi, that's even better. Uh, but we just let. I mean, I just said Draco was, was really was not really important for us this game, so you know. Uh, but like, Eggy can still like revenge sweep us, which is very, very it's a very scary thought to say, you know, because I feel like we've been doing really really well. He goes to festival. Okay, perfect. Take some rock damage. Do it for Super Fang. Bring that thing down to half. Uh, it's not leftovers, which is perfect. And uh, I will just trickle medium. We don't need this thing. He goes for Giga Drain. Do we live that? We don't. Okay. Cecily B kills Draco. Yeesh. Again, sort of issue, you know, just just playing the decoy of, of the of, of, of the game. Uh, this thing could definitely be scarfed, which could be very very annoying. Um, didn't we see a pivot earlier? No, no, no it's lefties. Is it not lefties? Again, I just volt switch. Even if he does go into his quag, it's not the end of the world. And I just gotta make sure I'm not in like sneak range. We're not in sneak range, okay. So if everyone would please shut up, we should be fine. He's for psychic, okay. So he's not scarf. It's good to know. Oh, he's life orb. He's life orb. My soul. Oh, my soul. Oh, I hurt. That really hurt to see. That really just like just like my soul just sunk. My soul just sunk right there. I want you to know. Let me double check. Let me double check. Level 50. Level 50. We're at 48. Ooh. We're at 29. Oh, it, it, I just made it a roll. Fuck, I just made it a roll. I just made it a roll. Okay. I go back into easy bake. No matter who I go into, he goes into the other Pokemon. I don't want him to go into Eggy. I don't want him to go into Eggy, so I'm not gonna let him. I'm not gonna let him go into Eggy. I'm not letting him go into Eggy. Uh, Aegis Slash, that's just what I mean by that. Uh, Celebi is down. Lando kills um, Celebi. I cannot let him go into Eggy. That's like the worst thing I can do because Sneak just revenged me. He was our fourth. He still went into it. That's insane. But that works for me because I, I'm going to overheat, overheat here. So Adamant Sneak does it's a roll. It's honest to got a roll. It's actually in his favor. He is going for sneak here. Mm hmm But actually I'll go with Wacky then. He saw these. He saw SD Sneak. Uh, 
probably should have gone to Lando there, actually. No, because if, if, if he, uh, if he King Shields... Then we actually do straight up lose. So I'll, I I knock off here. He just he just like straight up like King Shield. If he's like weakness policy, that's a really good fucking set. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Oh, true. I'm, I'm stupid. We saw that he's up these. Um, I'll U-turn, because I don't think we need, uh, Lando in the back. Yeah, uh, that was, what, I was like at 52 before the turn? Yeah, I shouldn't have gone to Lando. That turned out a choke on my end. He has Ds. Okay. That's horrifying. I think we just lose. No matter what, which is shitty to say. Yeah. Because age kills Lando and uh, Rotal. I think we just lose, no matter what. Damn it. Okay. He is plus two. It's not over yet. Mind you, it's not over yet. Old Endeavor, hopefully it doesn't hit him. Yeah. Yeah, oh, shit, it still hit him. Okay, no matter what. It still hit him. We're minus one. Yeah, it's gonna come down to knockoff does. If he sneaks here, no, he doesn't. He just straight, he just straight up SDs again. Okay. We're at full now. I think Rusty Train's about to go away. Yep. Cause he's plus four now. Oh, okay. I think it's best place to King Shield again and not sneak. Yeah. I wish I had like substitute. That would have been fantastic here. Because he would have to break it. We're minus two now. Yeah. Um How could I put this game a little bit differently? I knew I knew priority was a bit of an issue with this team. Um if I I think the big thing I, I went to Lando when I shouldn't have. Look at that much damage that's doing. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then he's going to kill us with like sh uh, Shadow Bullet, I assume. Sacred Sword. I actually live that. We do. We do live that. Uh, but it doesn't matter. GG, uh, GG Team Notch. That was a fantastic game. Very, very down to the wire. He goes for Sneak. Yep. Uh, so uh, go check him out. A link to his channel can be found in the description below. Um... Yeah, I think the turn that I went into Lando was my choke. I think that was the play that lost me the game because I put us a sneak range. Because uh, even because looking at the calc, if he was adamant uh, at 56 health, it was we were guaranteed out of sneak range. So I should have looked at the calc first and foremost. Um, so that's very much on me. Because if we look at the Lando calc, if he was in shield form, our Earth power was doing 80 to 94%. So we could have just gone into Blackie there and just, uh, you know, 
But it is what it is. I choked away. That's mods. You learn from it, and you got to move on from that. So we are going to start off the season pretty rough, but it, it is what it is. Um, that kind of woke me up. I'm not going to lie. So uh, I'm going to work on other stuff. So if you guys did enjoy this, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you guys for week two of the ICP. See you next time. Peace.